Hey everyone and welcome back. Thank you for watching today. I have another process video up and again I am using the November hip kit um, and I also have the um, embellishment add-on for November that I'm using and that I'm pulling from. And what I am um, doing now, I'm going through some of the papers. I know that I'm going to use that patchwork paper there on the left from Ellie Studio and uh, so I'm going to be using that and then I'm pulling out my alphas out of the kit and primarily that's going to be the main, the only pattern paper that I'm going to be using is that uh, pattern paper and I wanted to do, had an idea, I wanted to do something a little bit different with that and so I'm going to be using um, only that for the pattern paper. Scrapbooking these photos that I took of my grandson and I had uh, bought this hat for him. This um, It's a moose hat and I just loved it on him and I just thought it was so cute. Um, this is the day that we had actually gone out and we had family pictures taken, um, Christmas photo shoots uh, with the photographer and so afterwards we had uh, gone to get a bite to eat and uh, my daughter and um, we actually yeah we went to go eat afterwards and then um, my daughter and son-in-law had something to do so we were watching um, my grandson and so after we had finished eating we were outside the restaurant and we just started I started taking pictures of him on the bench um, because the little hat was so cute with his little Christmas sweater and so I, we just had fun and I had a lot of different outtakes of him and he was in such a good mood and so um, I had those pictures that I wanted to um, scrapbook definitely because I had some cute ones and love that little moose hat on him it was just my, one of my favorite little hats that he's wearing wearing this winter and uh, so that's what I'm doing and what I'm doing is I am uh, cutting up the um, patchwork paper there and uh, using my metal edge uh, ruler there and cutting out sections that I know that I want to use um, I'm going to create kind of a patchwork effect on the background paper and so I am cutting um, and you'll see it now pull that uh, layout back into the frame in just a few moments I'm cutting uh, different numbers uh, just different um, random diamonds out of the patchwork paper and uh, placing them on the white background and so I'm kind of going through and finding um, sections that has the colors that I want to use or you know the uh, diamond shapes uh, with the uh, patterns that I want to use so oh, I'm going through right now and just uh, selecting uh, the sections that I want. I love that paper. I said it before. It's just it's just so so fun. It's got some pretty patterns, and I did get the extra paper add-on, so I have extra. I still have uh, some of that left. Um, I'm still working on the November kit, trying to um, go th get that one uh, killed and, and used up. And that's the one that I ordered extras on and extra paper. So. Um, I might end up having to just put it aside and uh, put it with my Christmas stash and use it in my December daily or something because I have so much product from that kit. And uh, so, anyway, I'm just completing out, cutting out little sections. And I had this idea that I was going to just randomly uh, place um, cutouts and diamond shapes of that pattern paper. And then you'll see here in a minute, I, I wanted to just place almost like a quilting effect and uh, what I was going wanted to do was to sew that down and um, so first of all as I was just uh, getting the selections and figuring out which pieces that I wanted to um, put on the layout and so there you can kind of see where I'm going a little bit I have um, random um, you know pieces placed on the page and I did want kind of the quilted quilted look um, so I'm you know placing it in different sections diamond shapes some on the edge uh, like I'm doing there and so I think that's about it yeah that's that's gonna do the uh, do for the quilted shapes that I'm gonna do there and so far I'm liking you know how that's coming along um, now what I'm going to do is I am going to I'm just checking on the placement and I'm just lightly tacking those down in like the center of that piece so I'm not fully adhering it because I'm going to be sewing those down on the layout and I didn't want to get adhesive on the edge of the paper because I didn't want to uh, gum up my sewing machine needle so I'm just 
lightly adhering it, um, placing adhesive just in the center of those pieces and placing those on the page so that when I get to sew them, uh, they're actually already placed in where I need them to be. And so that's what I'm doing here and placing those down. I was really happy with the way this turned out. I wasn't sure at this point when I'm starting it and um, working on it. I was holding my breath because um, I hadn't got to the sewing part yet and as seamstress I am definitely not. <laughs> my sister and my mom are amazing with the sewing machine. They can do so much and it's kind of a joke um, in our family because I do have a nice sewing machine but I don't really use it uh, for sewing and I was using it on my pages but um, I read somewhere that you didn't want to mix you know your sewing machines you know use it on paper and then use it on fabric so I didn't want to ruin my really good sewing machine um, so it's kind of funny because I have this really nice sewing machine and I, I don't really don't really use it but it's there <laughs> so um, what I did um, get actually let me go ahead and go back to the the layout here um, I did want to, to mount the photos on that red because I did want them to pop off the page just a little bit I didn't want to put the photos directly on that background so I'm um, uh, doing a mat on those with the red and just a, I just wanted a small mat going around those photos and so that's what I was doing there. And so what I'm going to do um, is I'm going to go ahead and start adhering those down. But um, anyway, I was going to say um, I, I do have a nice sewing machine that I don't use for paper. I did buy this little uh, sewing machine here. And let me just say I um, am going to speed this up uh, quite a bit because this was a very time-consuming process right here on the sewing. And I didn't want to bore you. Um, by dragging it out but I did want to leave it so you could actually see the process and see what I was doing so um, I bought this little sewing machine it's a Janome and it's really handy it's perfect for sewing on my layouts I do like it because it's light I can I, I don't keep it on my workstation I have a, a shelf right next to me and I can just lift it off and, and pull it back and forth when I need it and it works great for this um, it does just you know the zigzags and the straight stitches and I don't really have to worry about it um, you know messing up a machine or anything like that um, that's what I bought it for and I use it only for paper so um, that's what I, I use on all of my layouts if I do any sewing um, it was a little bit tough because I had to slide that full 12 by 12 sheet in there to get it on you know all of the um, around the whole diamond and you can see there you kinda gotta fold it roll it back but it worked um, and so I was kind of like not sure hoping it was gonna work out and um, you can see it did there I'm cutting off all my extra threads adding some washi tape to the back to make sure that those threads don't uh, come back through because I didn't do a double back stitch to um, you know to secure it um, I didn't want to see that and then I'm tacking just a little bit of uh, quick dry adhesive at the beginning and ending spots on the threads so those don't come unraveled so um, there you go there are my stitched pieces and I was really happy that they turned out now if you look closely you're probably gonna see some crooked little stitches and all that but that's okay I'm, I'm okay with it because it turned out even better than I thought it would um, so it's kind of like an experiment and it worked out so um, right now I'm just going through some of my embellishments from the kit like I said I got the main kit and then I get, did get the add-on embellishment uh, kit uh, for November and so I don't I'm not going to do a lot of embellishment because I, I think that the background is pretty busy itself. Um, but I did have a few things that I did want to add to the layout. So I'm going through these Ellie's uh, studio tags and um, trying to just find a few pieces that I can that I can use. I like that little tab, round tab with the heart. Um, I thought that was a cute addition. So um, just going through them one by one, trying to pick out a few things that I think might work. Um, don't really use any of the tags because they're just too too big and I didn't want to take away from the from the background so um, found a few things there I'm gonna to try to start placing those around and it just doesn't need a whole lot I just felt like um, I was trying to add some things and I just didn't feel like it needed a whole lot I really wanted that quilted look on the background to stand out and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place my title uh, so that I can kind of know where I need to place everything else around that. 
And I posted these, this photo on Instagram, and I, um, my caption on there was just moosing around. And so I decided to go ahead and use that for the title, um, just moosing around. And so that's uh, what I'm using. I'm using those um, silver, um, I was trying to see who those are from. Yeah, thickers. I'm sorry. <laughs> I had a brain freeze there for a minute. Yeah, the uh, silver thickers and uh, for the main part of my title and then those LA Studio uh, alphas in the gray. I love those pictures. I, I have I had so many that came out that I was trying to figure out and try to choose which one I wanted to use because he was just in a mood that afternoon. He was smiling and like I said, it was just my husband and I that had him. We were we were babysitting him um, after the photo shoot, and we were just having so much fun there on the bench. And uh, he was smiling and just in a good mood and just posing. And he was quite the ham that day. So. Um, I was, of course, snapping, you know, a lot of pictures, as I always do, and so I wanted to put a few of those in a collage, and then that main picture um, was just a lot of fun. So, now I'm going to go ahead and start adhering uh, the, I'm going to put the photo down first, and I was going to start adhering the um, alphas and realized I hadn't uh, adhered the photo. So I'm going to put that down first, and then I'm going to start placing my letters, um, because once I get my letters on, then I can start adding uh, some other embellishments uh, to the layout. I like the silver for a change. I've been using a lot of gold lately, um, but I really liked those silver uh, thickers um, on the page. I just thought those were really nice for a change. And so I'm placing those down, and then I just wanted to use the little above that just. I wanted the primary title that sticks out to be the moosing and so using the smaller letter stickers uh, in connection with that to complete the title. And I decided to use that. Uh, that was from the Ellie Studio. Bits and pieces die cut shapes is what that was from. And um, it was a perfect little landing spot for that, um, the end of my title. She did a great job with this line, this good cheer line. Um, I do love the, that uh, quilted paper and um, so many of her wood veneers. Everything in that line was really, really, really nice. I really liked, really liked that. And we got a lot of it in the kit. We got a lot of different, of. Um, Ellie Studio things in this kit. So meticulously placing those alphas, <laughs> lining and relining. <clears throat> and so I'm going to place that there. I didn't want to cover his head, um, so I'm going to scoot it and cut a little bit of it off. Um, but I did want to use that right there under the title. So I'm going to go ahead and adhere that down. And some of the thickers, again, sometimes they stick, sometimes they don't. I was having some trouble with these staying down, so I'm using my quick dry adhesive and just um, tacking those down to make sure that they stick and that they don't lift off. There's nothing worse than open, opening your album and finding thickers at the bottom of your page protector, which I have done. So um, now I like to make sure that they are adhered and I do add extra embellishment. If there's any slight um, indication that they may not stick well. So I like to just reinforce those with a little bit of adhesive. And while I'm doing this, let me just say I am so excited, you guys. I just passed 500 subscribers, which I cannot believe. I'm still shocked. Um, thank you so much. And so I am going to be um, having a big giveaway uh, for my 500 su subscriber giveaway. I'll be announcing it here on the channel in just the next few days. So um, I have a big giveaway that I'm really excited about. And uh, so celebrating that 500 uh, subscriber mark. So make sure you check back in a few days. I'll be giving some more information on that. 
and uh, hope you participate in that because it's going to be a fun giveaway. And here I was trying to decide if I wanted to add some stars. Again, I wanted to keep it kind of simple because the background is so busy, um, but I did decide to add some of those rub-on stars uh, to the background, uh, mainly near the title, um, just to kind of tie in that silver. Um, those are the from Studio Calico um, Brighton Pier collection, and they're the silver star rub-ons. And so um, I decided to just add those near the title to kind of tie in the silver the silver letters there. And I'm going to add the other tag um, underneath there on the bottom. Still adding a few more stars there. I haven't sewn on a, um, a layout this much. I don't know, ever. <laughs> Usually I'll do some stitching or I might do something around the edge or something like that. Um, this was this was quite an undertaking for me, honestly, because like I said, I'm not a seamstress. I'm not that great with the sewing machine. So I was really excited that it actually worked and I didn't have any major uh, problems or um, anything happen. It kind of went fairly smooth. So I was excited about that. And so I want to use that um, label there at the bottom, um, but I wanted something, just wanted something else with it. And so I'm going through a few pieces here in that LA Studio die cuts and tags um, kit and uh, trying to find something uh, to add to it because I just, I just wanted a little something more. And I did find that tag that says the best, and I love it because it was blue, so it brought in a little bit of the blue color. And so I'm going to just layer that, um, those tags. And I'm doing my date stamp, and I actually managed to squeeze it in the bottom of that tag. I really didn't want to put it on the layout because I didn't want to, you know, interfere with the patchwork um, look of that. So I wanted it on the tag. So I layered those two tags, one on top of the other. Um, I'm still playing with that and trying to find something that works. I was trying to use that blue tag, but it just didn't work out. So I'm using that little strip there that says the best, which I loved. So I'm going to go ahead and adhere that down. And then use that tag. And getting ready to wrap up here. Um, looking, trying to decide if there was anything else that I wanted to do. I did add a few more stars there, a couple stars on the bottom. And it was just a fun layout. I enjoyed this layout. It's um, probably one of my favorites that I made out of this November kit so far. And so I was happy with it. Of course, the pictures were my favorite, too. So I really like the pictures. That is always nice when you have, uh, if you have pictures that you enjoy, makes the layouts go smoother. So here I am. I'm just uh, double checking, making sure that I'm finished, that there's nothing else that I want to add to that. And I did. Um, add these silver stickers on. I do like those. Those are from Pink Paisley. Uh, Mary and Bright collection. They're the silver foil word stickers. And um, again, I wanted to add those in there because I thought, first of all, they had some cute things, sayings on them. Um, I think one said smile. I think one said my favorite elf. And I don't remember what the other one says and I can't see it here. But um, I love the silver because it tied in with not only the stars, but uh, the alphas. And um, so it's kind of like a finishing touch for me there. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and show you some uh, close-ups of the layout. And um, I do have some still shots coming up again uh, at the end here. So again, just let me say thank you so much for watching. And um, don't forget to check back so you can hear about the 500 subscriber giveaway I have coming up. And I do hope you participate. Thanks again, and you have a great day.